Okay, well, hello, we're doing a, a streamed live Gungeon. I'm only gonna do this Gungeon. I got stuff to do in like an hour and 20 minutes or 30 minutes or so. I gotta get some work on my story going before raid time tonight. Oh man, this is so loud. Um, so we got a, uh, we got a wireless keyboard for the, uh, for the tablet that we got. And I've been using that to, you know, the cheap wireless keyboard is like 30 bucks. Maybe even less than that. Was, and it comes with a case. It was, it was a pretty cool, like, double purpose deal. Ugh. Um, but anyway, uh, I've just, I've been using, I started off using Microsoft Word's online version. Um, and that... Microsoft Word and Microsoft Word Online both suck mad ass. Um, Microsoft Word, I ha I've been using WordPad because Microsoft Word itself is like $140 a year or something like that. Um, a year. Or is, no, no, it's $99 a year. You can get it on one device one time with no sharing amongst your own computers for 150 bucks. Or you could pay to have it on up to six devices, I believe, for hundred uh, or for a hundred dollars a year for the rest of eternity. Um, yeah, it's just it, subscription models for products like that. I, I understand why. I'm sure it gets updates and stuff like that. Uh, but not owning something and not being able to do anything with it is just so weird. And for a word processor to cost that much is kind of ridiculous. So I've been using WordPad and then we, I started using, uh, wanting to sp split it between the tablet, which I'm kind of using like a laptop, um, and a drawing like sketchbook. Um, now I just got the keyboard. So I've been writing a lot. I've been, uh, taking the tablet up to the bedroom. We got a little desk set up there and, uh, you know, if I can't sleep, putting some, some work into that. I'm really, really liking writing a lot. Oh, the keys are so good. Um, I'm really enjoying the characters in this situation. Um, I'm still unsure about where I'm going to go with everything. There's some stuff I... It's kind of funny because, like, one of the main... I guess the main protagonist uh is kind of directionless he uh he doesn't know what he wants to do with himself he's you know a year away from going off to college he doesn't know uh what he wants to do with his life because being 17 is very weird um but uh he does know what he w doesn't want to do and that's kind of how i feel <laughs> with the the story itself like I know the limitations I want to have in place. I, I know the things that I want to avoid because I feel they're a little uh, hokey. Um, but I don't know specifically. Come on. Damn it. Uh, you know, everything I want to avoid from... Or everything that I want to do with the story. It's just... It's kind of like... I'm starting to put on the limitations, but I'm, I don't know where I want to go with the overarching narrative. So I have to, I have to find that. And that's something that, you know, most of the time when I wrote uh, back in high school, that's not going to make it. Uh, when I wrote back in high school, when I was at school specifically for writing, I, um, I kind of had a very, very limited idea of what I wanted to where I wanted the story to go, and that's that was part of the process. I don't necessarily love it right now because I think it's I think it's kind of more interesting to figure out the journey from one point to the other instead of just the destination. But you know, what can you do? Um, you know, you kind of if you're if you're focusing exclusively on the telling of the story, sometimes it does become to be about the journey, but I think it can be more interesting to know where you're going to end up, but not know everything about how you're going to get there. 
Um, I don't know. I, I'm working on an outline for the first time in the history of me writing. Um, because one, I've never worked on anything of this scope or scale, but two, uh, ooh, that sucked. Um, I feel like, okay, uh, I feel like there's going to be some interesting wrinkles that happen throughout in this, this, I don't want to say book, I don't know what size it's going to be, but decoy's really good. Decoy's really good. We don't need it, needed to use it on this one. There's nothing here that's valuable enough, but, uh, we'll keep it for now. We got the ability to steal. We don't need to worry quite so much about the, uh, the money. So this is going to be a gun. Hmm. Again, we'll keep it. Should I have stolen on this floor? I want to be able to steal the rat key if I decide that that's what I want to do on this one. Mmm. Copy's old. But regardless, the main the main thing that I'm enjoying about writing is how pervasive it is. Like how much I'm thinking about the specifics of writing the more I do it. Like Jackie and I, uh, Jackie put on Thelma and Louise, which is a movie I hadn't seen. I did not know it was directed by Ridley Scott. Um, is one of those movies that I'd seen so much, uh, so much media of, so much of a retelling of it in in popular media, um, that I kind of assumed watching the movie would feel like too much, like unnecessary. Um, that's how I feel about, or that's how I felt about Back to the Future. I believe I eventually watched Back to the Future. And while I was watching it, while I was watching Back to the Future, I was like, yep, I didn't need to watch that movie. I knew what happened. I knew about the Oedipal stuff. I knew about the uh, the mother flirting on with her son. There was, there was nothing really specifically about the movie that, like, that pulled so hard that I felt like watching the movie was significant uh, and I like I like Robert Zemeckis I do I think there were some cool effects used in uh, Back to the Future Part 2 um, stuff like that but uh, I genu genuinely like Robert Zemeckis like Forrest Gump's a good 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 movie um, I know that other people have kind of changed their opinion about the old FG over time but I, uh, I don't know. Anyway, Thumb and Louise is incredibly, incredibly well written. There's one part that I really didn't like that kind of felt like fan service action movie, action movie e. Uh, fan service usually, I think, the way that it's understood for the most part these days implies like. Uh, lewd situations or whatever, but that's not what I mean. The, is the part where there's a guy that's bothering Thelma and Louise, the titular characters. Titular. Uh, you know, they run across them multiple times on the road, which is a funny thing to see in a movie because I have experienced, like, passing the same car multiple times on road trips. Like, you build these little stories in your head about your interactions where you're like, you see them, you stop for gas, or you stop to get some food or whatever, then you pass them again. They're always going a little bit slower than you when you're driving, but they're at a more consistent pace or something. And then you stop again the next day or something, you see them on the road again. You're like, that's that same fucking truck. But this guy's being a real, uh, a real gross piece of shit. He thinks he's gonna, he thinks he's gonna convince them to do a little. Uh, a little outside of the car pork action 
just by waggling his tongue and thrusting at his pee pee and all of that. But it turns out, uh uh, these girls don't like no thrust out, tongue stick out, pee pee. Uh, it's not. Is not what turns them on. But, um. You know. <laughs> they eventually decide to give him what for. Before they were just kind of like, ignore this gross guy. And then they were like, fuck this dude, he's a problem. But then the final time when they really got their, their road confidence, uh, they were like, let's teach him a lesson. They got some guns. And I thought the way it was going to interact. They were going to interact with him. They were just going to threaten the guy. Give him a good scare. Show his true colors. But that didn't be the... That wasn't the case. They kind of already played that one off with the uh, the girls being stopped by a police officer. And him shitting his little britches. But the trucker thing, they like blew up the car. And it was like a big, dumb, over-the-top explosion. And it was just like... Alright, this, this movie is from 1999. You need to have... It, it's... It, it felt like it was pandering to the audience of the time. Which is fine. You can't make a movie that... People don't get anything that they want, I guess. I don't know. It, it's the whole Hollywood as business versus Hollywood as art production argument that, like... I guess is... Uh, Existed since the beginning of Hollywood. What we get? Amazon. Packages on the way is just a plug thing. That's not. It's not that exciting. Hmm. I don't know why, but this feels like a black market room. That's a. Uh, that's very, very wishful thinking, and that's something that I'm, I'm like, throwing out there so that when it happens, I can be like, see, 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 I told you. Confirmation bias. When it doesn't happen, I will have forgotten that I said anything about a black market. And we'll just move along our little way. Where is he? Is this guy? Get him out of here. These barfers, they're not so much of a threat. These buff boys, they don't scare me none. You move a ding boom boom beep boom. Oh my boy, baby boy boy. The extra damage is mucho appreciado. Apreciado. Let's go. <gasps> Ow. Shoulders uh broke ass shit right now. Hmm. Oh boy. I forgot about that part of the uh the weapon. You do do. This is probably not the safest way to turn this in. Oh man, mini boss for real. There's just so much good that comes with poisoning up the place. Oh shit. Okay, used a blank. I don't want to go to that mini boss quite, quite just. Quite yet. Hey, we got our blank back. Nice. Oh, thank God. I'm so glad I went to <laughs> say like, oh, it's probably gonna be here. Better, better, might as well. Better do it. Better and might as well do it. We're gonna use up a lot of this ammo right here in the fucking fusilier. At least it's, you know, second floor fusilier is not quite as problematic as like a, well, that's still problematic because we don't got as much to, to work with. We do have damage up. I'm blanking that shit, sorry.
Mm, that secret room is a good one. Ooh! And we got a vamp. A money-filled vamp. We got a vamp. A money-filled vamp, 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 vamp. Isn't there, like... Yeah, you can refill the plunger just by sand and poison. All right. So it is an infinite weapon. You can refill it to all the way full without having to wait. This is the best use of the blank I ever did do. Or not the blank, the uh, decoy. All right. I'm like, man, these guys are going down in a single clip. That's crazy. I got money in all the right places. Inside of my bullets is all the right places. Whoop. <gasps> Woo wee. Wow, missed with both of those. So we're going to steal on this guy, and we're going to make a lot of money and get a lot of extra damage. Oh my god. Go ahead and do it now. Casey would be good. Let's go to the boss and do the rest of this shit soon thereafter. Man, and a lot of big boys. Has the second floor always been such a big boy zone? Or is that a new... Ba do ba do ba do. Doobly doobly do. We honestly. We honestly should do this first. There we are. Hearts? No hearts, okay. But the other gun that's very similar, so we got Cerebral Bros, which is like, it's just amazing. It's so good. Well, that's gonna be, we're gonna use that with the starting weapon on the next floor, and it's gonna be like an easy, easy crush. Pup, you got the right idea, dog. No, not for that one. <laughs> only one, only two keys, so. Buy this. We don't need Casey. Now we can do... There's only two? The dog found one. The thing had one. Okay. I'll do that for now. We'll come back before we leave. Don't worry. We're gonna get some more money. Here about. Oh, yeah. It's weird how great it is to get a heart. And you got a vamp and money equals power. Whoa. Do not go in there. I love how the plunger can just... Reach around the corner like that. Give it the old 
are around. Well, dang, dude. Dang, dude. Alright, so I don't know what we're going to do. Um, what we're going to do now. It's going to be really, really difficult to... have a metronome that's good for bosses. That's also not going to just very quickly run out of ammo. Can't steal from Bellow. It's going for God. What? I don't. I don't have anything, dude. I just gotta. I gotta do this next floor regular style. The bullet board doesn't have enough, and it's terrible against bosses. Like, even with double damage, I believe. And you can't get kills with the bullet board. It's too. Uh, It's explosion damage that does the killing. Starting gun is gonna be pretty good on the way up, at least. That's louder for some. What's up, baby? I'm watching this um, documentary on tripping, uh, but it's with like a lot of words. I think you'll like it. That's good. I'm gonna watch it again with you at some point. Okay. But I'm gonna also keep watching it after we get stuff. Okay. Ooh, just standing up made my head dizzy. An item on my Steam wish list is on sale. Big fucking whoop. Big freaking whoop. You know, I think one of the other things that I really am liking about writing, and like, it's like exercising. It's very hard to talk about it without seeming uh, like you're like full of yourself for doing something. So talking about it, I always have this like the sense of like, I don't know, like should I even, should I talk about it? But uh, yeah, I, I mean, I'm really happy that I'm back in the saddle, more or less, you know? That I'm like, God, the ammo. Ammo's gonna be all fucking over the place. But uh, maybe that, means we should start using a gun that we could actually utilize ammo with. Okay. Yeah. I don't know, I already I feel like now I already got so much strength on this regular gun that it's like look at that. We're not gonna be able to use the hunter's starting weapon against the old king. That's that's dumb. But two two hit bullet can kill that's ridiculous. That'd be really, really fucking cool. What? I don't even know what hit me. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Two hundred shots. 
SAA can be really good if used right. We're not doing that. That's a stupid one. Uh, doom, 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 doom. Hmm. Let's see if we can't raise these this shit a little bit. With the double damage, it's pretty good. This might be a fun thing to try. Does it bounce twice? Has it always done that? Hmm. Wow, with the double damage, it's a one-shot bullet can kill. Of course, now that I'm using a gun that can use ammo, there's not going to be any more uh, ammo crates. Wow. Definitely a secret room. Okay, well, we didn't get as much of an improvement as I thought we possibly could, but... Keep this going as much as possible. <gasps> Ooh -hoo -hoo. Let's switch it if we get hit. So with the ricochet extra bonus damage, it's doing all right. Wasn't sure about the uh, where the dodge roll was going on that one. Oh lord! Come on, get him down. Yes, that is a genuine good old king flawless. We got the Yari launcher. Is amen. Ooh, well, that's a good one. Can't really build it. Um, I should have. <laughs> Waited to count like all my keys and stuff before I just dove in. Hey, <laughs> how's it going, sneaky squirrel? Sorry, I've been it's been a uh, it's been pretty dead here for a while. So if your post is from a while ago, I apologize. Also, hello, how you been? Yeah, my uh, I gave my wife full reign over uh, my hair, and this is what we're left with. She's in charge of these, these. Why did I shoot that? It's good. Uh, you know, lockdown, coronavirus style, been at home all the time, every day. I really don't mind it. I know that there's a whole movement against it and stuff, but it's been fine. We've been doing okay financially. We, it, it turns out, that my wife and I are, uh, you know, we're totally okay just kicking it at home for the most part, socializing on devices. Uh, it's honestly been a nice little reprieve from the regular old rigmarole. How about you? Are you treating this whole situation? Are you taking it? I know that everybody's got very, very, very... Uh, well, there's a, it's not very different. There's a handful of ways people are feeling about this. Like three, maybe four. It's not, there's not a lot of nuanced facets about... Uh, you know, it's either for it or again it. Oh dang, that sucks. They laid you off after you worked for it? 
for all that time? Did you get, are you on unemployment? Because unemployment includes the extra $600 a week for the uh, CARES Act, even if you've been laid off since that started. Yeah, an interview yesterday, well, that's good. You should still, in the meantime, you should absolutely apply for unemployment insurance uh, because that's what my wife and I have been doing. We, the whole point of the unemployment, unemployment stuff is, uh, you know, whenever we're working, we are paying our taxes towards that. And then this is the time when it's, it's there to benefit us. Uh, so I don't feel a lot of like, I don't know, like welfare guilt or anything like that. <laughs> Are you doing the thing where it's hard to tell what day it is? Yeah. Yeah, there is... Uh, for every working... Or every person that's been laid off due to the, due to the coronavirus, there is an extra $600 a week that is going to them to tie them over. Um... So it is absolutely worth it to get it. I, I'm sure you've been working for a while and it is like, there are a lot of people who are like, ah, you know, welfare is, is, a, is a crutch. It's asking for help when you should be able to handle this on your own. But this is an unprecedented thing. And it's like, I'm going to go back to work as soon as it's safe to do so, but I'm not going to put my wife and myself in danger so I don't feel like, uh, I don't know, bad about getting my tax money back used on my situation. Like, this is the, the perfect, the epitomal example of when one should be uh, getting their, their unemployment benefits. Come on. I need some ammo because this gun is fucking crushing it in terms of damage right now. It'd be a crutch. See, the, the, the reason I feel different about it, the phrasing especially of it being a crutch, is... Every single time you got a paycheck, there's money taken out to go to these programs. They have been using your money for these programs for the existence of the time that you've been working. You've never gotten it before this point. It's not a, it's a crutch the way that like if your car gets run into, the insurance that you paid for all the time should cover the damages to your car. You shouldn't then also have to shell out the money for your car. It's what you're paying for like do you think that if you pay $300 a month for car insurance and then you need $700 six months after you start paying it's a crutch to get that $700 no like that's what I don't understand they even call it unemployment insurance oh god uh, because that's exactly how it works like you put the money in, everybody puts some of the money in, that's how insurances work, and then you get some of the money back when you are in need. Um, if you, you know, I think people would feel less like it was a crutch if they could opt out and then not get the benefits when it changed or whatever. But uh, honestly, it's like, it's insane that people are hesitant or they frame it such as, as if like there's something there's something wrong there's something weak about getting what you've given towards paid back to you I don't I don't understand that at all yeah I, but it's, it's it's essentially your own money it's the reason that taxes exist taxes exist or they should exist for the people that pay them Taxes should only exist as a way for the people that pay their taxes to benefit from them in one time or another. 
Um, I think otherwise we're just giving money to somebody else. We're just giving money to... Oh, I almost used up all my keys. I didn't even think about that. We're giving money to the government or we're giving money to uh, the Defense Department or whatever, and we're not necessarily seeing the outcome. The, the, the reason that I always support social programs is maybe maybe there are some people who are benefiting from you paying your taxes that you are not they're not giving back as much as they're taking and i think that that upsets a lot of people the idea that they work hard and joe schmo or whoever is benefiting off of their money i don't see it that way i see it all all of taxes should be an insurance policy for the people we pay the money forever and then we get the benefits of it when the time comes. Like, yeah, that, that's how I feel. So I have been told that you can drop that, switch your weapon, pick it back up, and you don't lose your metronome. If this is true, dude, it's totally true. Wow. Well, I lost my metronome there anyway, that's fine. But I learned something. Yep. Still gotta avoid taking direct damage, of course. Hopefully I can keep enough ammo. I think this is gonna make the metronome stop feeling like a fucking nightmare for me to have. I hate the metronome because it usually ties me to a weapon to like a, a devastating degree a lot of the times. Hey dude, you wanna cut that shit out? Oh, I didn't see the fucking bullet that was hanging around. Hit the rats. <laughs> it really goes out in a weird direction when you're not. I have played, uh, yeah, I have a like 12 or 15 or 20 videos up on my YouTube channel of Exit the Gungeon. It's a good game. It's not as good as this one. So I keep coming back to this one. I actually played Exit the Gungeon when it first was on. Uh, I was using my Apple TV to uh, to play it when it first was on um, phones. It's totally worth trying. Why are these... I got a quick question for you, Yari Launcher. Are you dumb as hell? It's totally worth it. It's fun. It, the, the differences are stark so don't go in thinking that it's a uh it's a sequel <laughs> it's not a sequel it is a spin-off yeah that's that oh my god It position, positions itself weirdly as a sequel in a lot of the storytelling beats and stuff like that, but it is not, gameplay-wise, a direct sequel. Oh, what a bad dodge. Wow. Uh, sounds rhythm. Do, 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 do. Let's just use the blanks. Do, 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 do. The main difference between Gungeon and uh, Exit the Gungeon is that 
With Gungeon, picking, picking your weapons is a pretty significant part of the whole experience. Um, or with Enter the Gungeon. Uh, with Exit the Gungeon, you are in a permanent blessed mode, which is like pretty frustrating um, because it just randomly assigns you weapons. But it's a lot faster paced in terms of uh, action and dodging and all of that. Um, the, the play field, the area in which you fight is much more contained. So you have to dodge shit like all the time. That one's always a little scary. Bloop. And Omega Bullets are always good. Omega Bullets mean Sling is gonna be useful. Mm -mm 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 -mm. That was a good haul. Uh, Metal of Valor is incredible too. We got a lot of extra boss damage off of that. Uh, sound and vision. I sh check. And fill it up. I'm gonna keep using the SAA. I'm having a really good, uh, really good time with the SAA. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I've been doing the. Oh, we gotta do this. I haven't been doing the the rat fight every time, but recently I've been doing it a, a good amount. So I feel like his his bullshit, his surprises are not quite <clears throat> as uh, as likely to catch me off guard. I have the ring of triggers. That's gonna be useful. Hmm. Yo, stop, guys. Stop trying to bite me. <laughs> okay, we can leave that. So we don't even need to worry about changing our gun. We killed the rat, so we can now leave ammo on the floor. I do wish... I wish there was a way to go to the rat fight earlier. Like... One of the only problems I have with uh, the rat fight, because I I believe personally that an optional fight is not something you can complain about. You'd be surprised. Um, I say that for two reasons. One, number one, is that I feel like this game, if you take a, some time off of it, your first run is going to be stacked. And I know that I know that there's a huge uh, confirmation bias at work in a statement like that. Um, I know it. But I need, I can do one more room and then I need to move on. God, this is so strong. So I have uh, gilded bullets. Um, so as my money goes up, my damage goes up. I also have metronome, so as my kills without getting hit go up, my damage goes up. Uh, and then the SAA, if you ricochet it off the wall, it uh, does double damage. So it's kind of bonkers and nuts. How much this, you know, kind of decent gun can do for damage. And the coolest thing about it is that the uh, bouncy bullets, the ricochets, they, um, they home a little bit. Oh, it's doing so much damage that I don't even need the ric ricochet in a lot of these situations. 
do 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 sound and vision. Ah, sound and vision. They home slightly, so they bounce twice, and the first time they home. Uh, they'll curve towards it. The second time they'll curve towards it again. So there's a chance that if you're in a small enough situation, a small enough room, uh, that you can get shots that you missed pretty easily. I like the armor of thorns. Ooh, I didn't need to buy a key. Ah! What? Oh, I destroyed my... Okay. Mmm. <laughs> Spent a little bit more money than I wanted to. Uh, I destroyed my fucking decoy with Ring of Thorns, or Ring of Triggers, like moments after setting it up. Didn't even notice. The thing was already gone until uh, before I. That's alright. The only thing... The thing is, the uh, Gilded Bullets... They cap at 500 money. So if I can... Sell a little bit or just make a little bit of money... At 500... Uh, bells or whatever they're called. At 500... What are they called in this game? Casings? 500 casings. The, uh... <laughs> shells, yeah. The thing does double damage anyway. So I'm pretty close to double damage. This one has the DPS... Uh... Cap removal. Hmm. I was still making plans for what I was gonna do. Where's the money guy? Oh, it's right here. I've been playing a shitload of Animal Crossing, yes. Um, please don't fall in the pit. In the money pit. Okay. Get out of here all the time, every time. You don't exist to me. I don't use this one. This one goes as well. And then we need to re-equip the SAA. I think the uh, that Animal Crossing New Leaf is the first game that my... Uh, or New Horizon or whatever, uh, is the first game that my wife and I both have that she's played more of than I have. She's really, like, devouring that game. And I guess that's it. We're over 500, so we're good. Still got the ability to still. We got a resourceful sack. Okay. How about you? Have you been given uh, New Horizons a go? Everybody loves Raymond. Hmm. Did not mean that when I said it, but it's true. Everybody fucking loves Raymond, and I don't know... I, I've never... I don't have him. Uh, I never interacted with him, but just following on the Animal Crossing, like, subreddit and stuff, it's like... The fucking... Big ol' everybody the... You know... Everybody's glued to that guy. Uh, 
Ah! Okay, so we can't steal anymore without dropping that thing. We got the synergy. Yeah, I've seen a lot of people, like, all up on. All about. Two keys from one room, huh? <laughs> what else have you been playing? What? You can trade him? What do you mean? How do you trade people? Or whatever, animals? I don't understand. I still, I'm like, I'm, my attention is wrapped and focused waiting for how you trade people. Is there like a, is there like a villager slave trade or something? Oh, that motherfucker came out of the wall. You can send people? You can have someone mail you the tickets, and then you can move over to, then they can move over to your island and talk them into moving. I am so, I, I, I don't understand that at all. That seems very weird and very new and, you know, problematic almost. Like, I got, I have issues with that on a, uh, a number of levels. <laughs> huh, well my wife has been trying to get rid of a character that she doesn't like. Uh, that I'm like... Yikes! Woo! I, I don't hate her. Patty, I think is her name. Uh, so maybe we'll do that. Maybe I'll trade one of my okay but not mind-blowing people for Patty. So she she can, tr you can like trade people? Ah, it, that's weird. Whole thing's weird. You might have to explain how that works to me. Like what you do to trade, send somebody a villager. Oh. I'm guessing you probably have to make sure your island isn't full at the time. Isn't all full up. It's hard to not shoot too much. Like, I, I know that th some of these shots are going to... going to be wasted every time I shoot. But I think since I'm not shooting directly at the targets a lot of the time, I overdo it. Oh, all of this ammo is so fucking lovely. That's just loverly. Ooh. Oh, my head. Why do I have a headache today? I don't really understand it. Okay, it's not that great to have a headache. So why don't you go away, headache? Damn.
All right, dude, have fun. Make sure you escape or whatever the end objective is. Dang, that was too fast. Hmm. God, I feel like I'm dodge rolling too fucking far. Oh, we have like an infinite key and we're not eating you eating? We're not even using it. Oh damn, that's the wrong way. That's the wrong way. <laughs> it's like a, it's like a head, head cover. That's the wrong way. I like that joke. I meet. I spent a lot of money at some point. I just fucking realized. Oh, the reload stone. Oh well. Could have stolen it. Didn't. Here we are. Hmm. I was 100% wrong about the black market. I'm not letting myself off the hook for that one. You gotta be true to your principles, your principals. Where are you? Dude, this guy is the world's greatest. Okay. Hey, okay. So I gotta remember as soon as this runs over, I gotta change out the laundry. That was a jammed enemy that was killed that quickly. Holy effing shit dog. I need to get a room with a blaster shooting mad shots my way. Or I just need ammo to drop. Shooting shots my way. Uh, sure looks good to me. Oh, won't you shoot the shots my way? I don't think that was... Okay, well... One led to the other. Uh, shooting shots my way... I gotta make sure... No matter what, I have enough to get through the current room before I move on. Or I guess if I don't, I could use an item. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or I could drop the thing. There's many solutions. I should be using the items more frequently. It's really nice to find new, insane weapon situations in this game. Like, this is 
insanity, holy calamity style. He didn't get his shots off. Nobody's getting their fucking shots off. Leave the full fill down at the B bottom. It can't be the. It can't be the bottom. Just trust me on this. Just trust me. Even though I'm always wrong on it, just fucking trust me for some reason. Just trust me for some fucking reason, idiot. You fucking dummy. Oh, laundry just finished. Okay, so up's not correct. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, remember, remember. Hmm, left, you better be correct, Amundo. You're gonna be making me eat crow, which is a disgusting meal. There we go. Whew. Whew. Uh, Jordy, swing my way. It's disgusting how god awful this entire world is. That's sick shit. Let's let's level this up a little bit. Okay, okay, okay. God damn, last room, huh? It takes a two, baby. Uh, we may be a little low. So we might have to do that a little bit. There we go. And there we go. And there, and there, and there we go. It's weird because we're not going to really be using this weapon, but everything else is all full up on ammo. This weapon's just fun. It's a fun room clear because I never ever use it as a room clear. I never, I, I mean, I used to use it as a boss killer uh, back in the old days when I didn't know any better. And it's not, it's not bad as a boss killer. I used it as a boss killer early on in this one. Um... But I, I'm having a lot of fun having more, having a greater number of targets to just like slowly accrue kills with. The, 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 the number of okay ways that this is issuing forth damage. Especially as fast as it shoots, man. Like, oh, I need decoy leveled up. Or uh, filled up. It's not going to happen right away. But decoy with uh, the Kage Bunshin synergy is going to be ridiculous now that I'm stopping a little bit and thinking about it. Okay, let's get ammunition for this one. Then we drop this switch. Nope. There we go. Let's do this uh, rapidly. Oh, 
Holy fucking shit. So, I forgot that on top of all of the damage modifiers and everything, and that doubling my shooting, it's also going to double, or it's going to shoot a bunch out when I, just from using the active item. The amount of damage that's coming out from these shots is rid. It's ridiculable. Ooh, hoo, 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 wow. That is two of me. <laughs> is the New Age clone. Oh no, it's just a severed head. Oh, it's gone. Okay, go. Whew. Did that go up? Yeah, that went up. Okay. I accidentally hit the hotkey button. The hotkey app or program button. Ooh. Oh, that was a lead. Oh, uh, Lich Flawless. That wasn't everything. Holy <laughs> fucking shit. Holy shit. Oh, I forgot about the Medal of Valor. Made those bosses really toasty, roasty. Never used the sling. It would have been really good, but it still would have had the DPS count. Uh, but it probably would have been okay, honestly. The DPS count wouldn't have been too much with... Uh, or wouldn't have been too much of a problem, since it's a slower one. That ricochet could have really wreck-o-shade. Very good run.